Hey guys, so in the previous video, you we saw how you can run your classes in series, but within each series, within each class, how you can run all your tests in parallel just by keeping the configuration like it is shown here. In this video, we are going to run our classes in parallel, but our tests in series. Uh, so the only thing that you need to do this is basically switch the values. So we want to run our classes in, in, in parallel. So you keep concurrent here and you want to run within each class all your tests in, uh, in series. So this is the only change that you have to do. You do not have to change anything in any of the code in any of the test classes. So pretty straightforward. Um, and I think this is also a, a mode which I would recommend. Uh, let's say if you have to uh, run multiple test classes, uh, you would not need to have you know multiple devices uh, for each test case but you can actually let's say if you have 10, 10 test classes you can probably add 10 emulators and then you're good to go um, there are other ways also in which you can run your test classes in, in parallel with even lesser emulators but i think that's a topic for another time which i will cover in in another video so for now let's check out this mode run class in parallel and test in series so we are running our classes in parallel, tests in series, and let's click on running all of our tests in this package. So what you're seeing is all the test classes are triggered, but within each test class, there's only one test case that is being run which is like exactly opposite to what we did, did in our last video, where all the tests were running, but all the classes are not running. But now you see, first test is run, now the second test is running in series. Yeah, the first test is finished, now the second test is running in series, but all the classes are running in battle. Okay, two classes done. And these are these are faster because we use deep links. Uh, this is not fast but because we're doing usual login mechanism. And all the tests are running in series. So when two are done, then the third test is triggered, which is exactly what our execution mode is. So run test run test cases in series, but classes in parallel that's it so with this we could complete all our tests uh, all seven tests three plus two plus two uh, and get the classes were in parallel and the tests were in series so i think with this we have proved that this mode also works with our framework appium which by the way is an open source framework you can download it i'll put the link of it in the description below and now we can go to the last mode and the final mode which is like a total beast mode where we could run everything in parallel. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.